Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast, where you can use your crochet to build a business that will give you the lifestyle you've been dreaming of. You are not for everyone. When you start selling your crochet, it can be really easy to think that you are selling to everyone. Anyone can buy from you. You want to be available to everyone. You want everyone to be able to afford what you make because why not? But this is actually the wrong approach to take. And if you do think this way, this is what's going to feed into your pricing anxiety. If you want to be affordable to everyone, you cannot make the profit you need. Yes, anyone can buy what you sell. However, you are not for everyone. Because if you think otherwise, what you're going to do is keep pushing your prices down. You're going to have trouble finding your ideal customer because no one knows who you're talking to. And this again feeds into your pricing anxiety because the first thing we think when we're having trouble selling anything is, my price is too high, is no one buying because I'm too expensive and you knock your prices down. We do that because changing that little number is the easiest thing to do, but it's also wrong. You have to accept that not everyone can afford you. You are not available to everyone. Although everyone can admire what you make and maybe wish that they could afford you, not everyone can. And you also have to ignore those people who tell you that no one's going to buy at that price. Well, that's not true. What they mean is they wouldn't buy at that price. They are not your customer. But if they're not your customer, why are you letting what they say, a random comment from a complete stranger on a social media post, why are you letting that have such a big impact on your business? Now, believe me, I know these people can get right under your skin. They can cause you to completely wobble and question your entire business. One person has the power to do that, even though it's a complete stranger on social media, posting from who knows where. You don't have a clue who they are, and yet we let them have such a big impact on how we go about selling our crochet. We seem to forget all the fabulous comments saying how pretty it is and how they would love to own such a thing. All those positive comments go out the window as soon as you get a negative one. But to be successful, if you're selling on social media, you do have to grow a thick skin. You cannot let that one comment get to you. And you do have to accept that you're not for everyone. Do you think Ferrari are bothered by those people driving little Ford Fiestas looking at their Ferraris going, ooh, there's no one going to buy at that price. Too expensive, that. Idiots who buy them. Do you think they're bothered? No, they're not. They couldn't give a monkeys. They're Ferrari. They're only bothered about the super rich. They couldn't care less about, you know, people buying the little Ford Fiestas like you and me. They don't care. They don't let those comments get to them. They couldn't care less. What about Tiffany? Have you seen their prices? They're astronomical. What they charge for one little piece of jewellery is obscene. Do you think they let comments like that get onto their skin? No. They're going to carry on charging obscene prices. And you know what? They do it. They sell. They keep going, people still keep going to them despite those prices because Tiffany and Ferrari know who their customers are. 
They know who they're selling to. They know they're not for everyone. They are in the luxury market selling to people who want luxury. They could not care less about people who cannot afford what they sell. So why do you? And it comes down to insecurity. It comes down to a lack of confidence. If you don't value what you make, then why should anyone else? You're not for everyone. Your crochet is not for everyone. Your crochet is only for the right people. It's only for those who can afford you and can appreciate the value of it. That's not everyone. Not everyone appreciates the value of something handmade. Not everyone appreciates the skill that goes into making these things. Not everyone appreciates the amount of time it takes. Not everyone appreciates how exclusive it is, how, you know, the the quality of the yarn you use. Not everyone knows this. Not everyone understands this. Not everyone is going to appreciate it. You're just not for everyone. Anyone could buy from you if they have the, uh, the bank balance, if they have the appreciation. Anyone who, are, who fits those criteria can buy from you. But not everyone will. And yes, that's going to play with your head. Yes, that's going to make you wonder if your prices are right. Yes, you're going to wonder if you should be taking notice of that random comment from the stranger on your post. But you need to be secure in who you are selling to and what price you want to sell at. That is your choice. That is your decision. Just like it's your customer's decision whether to buy from you or not. And until they do buy from you, they're not actually a customer. So until they do, their opinion doesn't actually matter. You need to do what's right for you. But you also need to accept that you're not for everyone. Not everyone appreciates you. Not everyone is going to like what you sell. Yes, you will get people saying you're being pretentious, you're above yourself, you charge too much, you're on cloud nine if you think anyone's going to pay those ridiculous prices. But those opinions are about them. They're not about you. That says what they think. It doesn't say what you actually are. What they think has no bearing on how you decide to run your business. It has no bearing on how you decide who you're going to sell to, who you're going to talk to, who you're going to market to. I promise you, the people who will buy from you are out there. You may not have found them yet. They may not have discovered you yet. You may not be secure enough and confident enough to get your crochet out there. But unless you do, they're not going to find you. So accept that you're not for everyone. Ignore the random you know, busybody who wants to stick their nose in and try to influence you, they don't matter. Do what is right for you. Do what you need to do to make the profit you need from your crochet so that you can create the lifestyle that you want, so that you can create the freedom you need, create the income that you want, and nothing else matters. So as always, please do come over to the Facebook group and let us know how you're getting on. I would love to know more about your business and how things are going for you. Okay, it's the Crochet Seller Support Group. We're on Facebook and you can subscribe to our newsletter as well and get the link to the latest podcast episodes straight to your inbox twice a week. And you can subscribe at crochetbusinessschool.com 
forward slash subscribe. Thank you for joining me and I shall see you next time for the next episode. Bye for now.